The main inspiration for the work, because there are many, I would say, um, begins with the ancestors. It begins with the the the, the transatlantic maafa. It begins with the um, the glory that preceded that. It begins with you know the entire ancestral story that you know in many cases has been either stifled entirely or has been distorted and um, misrepresented. You know, many of us, I will say, growing up here in America, I definitely was, um, from a young age, exposed to a lot of um, media and different things that, you know, if I were not an inquiring mind, I would assume that, you know, the African ancestors, as well as people in the African continent right now, are mostly, you know, backwards, um, barefoot, in the bushes, doing whatever. But when you begin to read the narratives, and this is the importance of telling our own stories. When you begin to check the narratives, um, whether it's from certain books, you know, um, whether it's you know the story of of Malcolm X, you know, his his uh, biography that takes him to these very streets of Boston that I grew up in, or um, whether it's the words of Amuta Baruka, you know, one of the great um, griots and storytellers within um, the Jamaican um, cultural paradigm, and, and some of the films that he's worked on as well and you know there's so many ones you could get into Bob Marley, Dennis Brown um, you know there was Cable Time growing up in the 90s Sizzler Kalanji you know, and, and I remember being a, a youth maybe at 11 or 12 years old where I first heard um, Sizzler saying oh, Dem talk about Jesus I who that let me say out there's somebody out there thinking the same thought that I'm thinking and not only is he thinking it but he has the courage to say it you know <laughs> and um, that is a very transformative thing you know giving giving a voice to to those voiceless thoughts that you know a lot of ones you know walk around with on a day-to-day -day basis and now being in a position to be that voice to um, expose false doctrines wherever they um, are being pushed to our people you know that is that is the fire driving the movements This is King Masteras, the musical of Obi Amana represent for ancestral voices, spirit is eternal. Nah, Kwambia!